grab the people in the back and come back to you. Meeting a room full of strangers is never easy. I'm from Seattle, Washington. But these young people will soon become classmates because they've all committed to attending TSU in the fall. Going into like senior year, you always see like the posts about like, oh, come to this college, come to that college. But for me, TSU really just grasped my attention. And Emily Lopez is a first generation college student from Music City. She's excited to embark on the land of the golden sunshine, learning what all the university has to offer through TSU's ambassadors who are currently enrolled. When you get to college, it's not about what you know anymore, it's about who you know and making those connections. It was basically telling me like, just make sure you stay up on your grades and make sure you know everything and have, also have fun, com communicate with people. In orientation, you learn a lot about the clubs on campus and the food on campus, but also housing and where you're going to live. We have a ample housing that is still available. We are still continuing to place students into housing. Uh, we do not foresee having any type of housing problem this year as far as using hotels. Dr. Portia Johnson is a third generation and three time graduate of TSU. And as the executive director of recruitment, she wants to reassure parents their children are in good hands. But we want them to feel excited about coming to college. I mean, this is a new journey for them as they are leaving the nest and leaving high school. And after their visits, Lopez is eager to get the fall semester room. So I just want to um, pour back into the people that helped me when I was growing up. In Nashville, Erin Cantrell, News Channel 5.